Hello, James Borg here. Today I would like to speak a little bit about yoga, forgiveness and falling. Now one way that yoga can be defined or described is as balance. It's one of the classic definitions of yoga in the Bhagavad Gita. Samatvam yoga uchate. Yoga is said to be samatva. And this Sanskrit word samatva basically means evenness, balance. You can see the influence of the Sanskrit coming into the English here. So sama has given us the English word sane. So yoga is evenness, balance, integration, harmony. Now balancing is not always such an easy thing because life is constant movement so the balance that is yoga is a dynamic equilibrium it's not something generally speaking that one can learn just like that and so one image or um, one analogy that I find useful to consider this idea of learning to be balanced in the reality of human life, learning to live in a state of yoga, is of learning to walk. When we were learning to walk, how many times did we fall over? So many times. So many times we can't remember. But at the age we were, when we were learning to walk, we had not yet taken on the idea that we should have everything worked out. We'd not yet taken on the belief, oh, I'm supposed to be the finished article. I'm supposed to know what I'm doing here in this thing called life. I'm supposed to be competent. We hadn't been, uh, what's the word? These, these ideas had not been instilled into our awareness. And so as a young child, when learning to walk, if we stumbled, we did not get down with ourselves. We did not think, oh, what a terrible toddler am I, stumbling again. No, we just got up and continued to explore what it means to put one foot in front of the other and maintain this dynamic equilibrium. And with a sense of wonder and curiosity, as exploring in this way, every time we stumbled, we gained new insights. We deepened our appreciation and our embodied, lived, visceral understanding of what it actually means to maintain balance, to maintain this dynamic equilibrium. And so I think it's the same thing when we're learning to be balanced amidst all the challenges of life. Yoga is very practical. It recognizes stumbling is normal. That's part of exploring new territory. Stretching yourself. Exploring our way into the uncovering or the unveiling of our deeper capacities. It's normal that we might falter. It's normal that we might trip up now and again. What yoga urges us to do is to do our best to avoid falling in the same way again and again unnecessarily. And also, it urges us, if we catch ourselves doing that, to be forgiving. Let's say we fall in a certain way, we stumble in a certain way, back into a pattern that we know we don't really want to fall down in this way anymore. Now, if we fall in a way that previously we've said to ourselves, oh, I never want to fall in this way again, perhaps we might get down on ourselves. But getting down on ourselves is not going to help us walk better to move forwards. So let us learn from the toddler. Let us pick ourselves up and assimilate <laughs> without let's say, without judgment, without um, casting in a negative light this new discovery. And let's move forwards. 
So if I notice myself repeating a pattern, that noticing is actually a step forwards. That noticing is an empowerment. Now I've noticed, oh, I slipped into that same pattern. I fell into the same old, let's say, self-sabotaging habit again. But I've seen how I can do that even when I wouldn't really expect it. I can see how that habit, as it were, can kind of creep up, can kind of pounce, <laughs> can ambush me. And I might notice if I'm, let's say, if I forgive myself for falling again in that way, in the space of that forgiveness, I might get a useful new insight about why <laughs> I fell in that same old way. Perhaps it wasn't quite the same old way. Perhaps it was a similar way but actually now I'm learning more about what it means to avoid falling in that way again. Perhaps, as I notice, mm, I slipped up again in a similar way, I realize, ah yes, certain types of situation leave me a little bit more susceptible to lapsing into stumbling ways that I no longer want to stumble into. But if I can find the presence and the patience and the heartfulness to not be angry with myself, to not get down on myself, but to be forgiving, to appraise the situation and recognize, ah, good opportunity to learn here, then I think I empower myself to be much less susceptible to fall in the same old way. I can invite myself to walk onwards and I will probably stumble in new ways as I wrestle with new challenges, as I expand the reach of my investigation into what it actually means to foster harmony in the complexity and wonder of life. But if, as I walk along this path of discovery, I am forgiving when I fall, I think it's much more likely that I will be able to learn how to balance that bit more quickly, that bit more easily, and I'll be able to enjoy the process a lot more.